Hello everyone. I can't tell you how much it warms my heart to see you all showing up today to remember the life of our beloved friend and faithful mailman, Brother Raymond David Griffin. I was fortunate enough to speak to Ray a few hours before he passed, and he told me that he did not even want us to have a funeral. When I told him this was not possible, he insisted that we have as simple a ceremony as possible. So, in the spirit of Ray, I'll say a few words. We'll sing a few of his favorite hymns. One of his best friends, Janet Robbins, will say a few words, and then we'll be done. Hi, everybody. As many of you know, Ray was a man of very few words, so I'll try to keep this as short as I can. A while ago, he came into my bakery, bought a scone, and asked me to speak at his funeral. When I asked him what on earth he was talking about, he said a black bird had appeared by his window and sat there for many hours. He thought it was a sign of his imminent death. That was 27 years ago, but I made a promise that day. So here I am. Janet, the eulogy was lovely. Thank you, dear. I thought I was rambling towards the end. Hey, did you hear about the new mailman? He bought the house across the street from me. No, I didn't. Have you met him yet? Uh, well, no, I haven't, but I think he's moving in today. I saw some moving trucks pass me on the way over here. Come on, Janet, let's go. <laughs> Looks like it's time for me to go. I'll talk to you tomorrow, though, okay? All right, bye, Janet. See you, Charles. 